Hi guys, I'm Shaina and welcome back to Flackbacks channel and I'm here on this channel to do a series of vlog about my journey in reviewing for the Cisco CCNA. If you're new to our channel, please like this video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you'll be updated whenever I posted a new video. This video is about my summary of the topics from section 1 up until section 22 and I'm happy to let you know that I just finished the 50% of the review as you can see guys i am now on 51 percent completed i am now on 50 percent progress and it's a relief for me because it seems that i just finished half of the course for those who are on the same path where are you now on our review guys let me know on the comment section since i am now on 50 percent progress on my review i want to make a summary of the topics from section 1 to section 21 and I especially made this video for those who are wondering or for those who are curious what are the topics on the program that I am enrolled, which is the CCNA Gold Bootcamp of Flackbacks. I want to make this video because they are curious. They are enrolled on a different program and they are curious what are the topics here on our CCNA Gold Bootcamp. And what are the things that they can expect and i know there are some who are not enrolled on our course but they just wanted to compare the topics that they are reviewing on the topics that we have so i made this video and also for those who just downloaded the lab guide exercises for free and they are still thinking if they will enroll on our season a boot camp this video is very helpful i will show you what are the topics that i reviewed from section 1 up until section 22. flakbox is very transparent on their topic they want to share their information you can actually know all of the topics or the course curriculum of flakbox on their website that's on learnedflackbacks.com slash p slash cisco season a gold bootcamp i will include the link on the description below you can see here on the website the full course curriculum from section 1 to section 38 and it composes of 35 hours of tutorial videos which is good for six weeks plan yes guys you heard it right if you will just follow the study plan that the flakbox provided you can see that you can finish this course within six weeks but on my first vlog i mentioned that i didn't follow the study plan i made my own study plan because i'm on a full-time job and i need a time to do my work and i also need a time to make this vlog series so i didn't follow this study plan and i made my own so here's all the topics from section 1 to section 22 that's the half of the course as you can see on section 1 it's just a welcome and on the section 2 that's going to be a tutorial on how we will set up our lab how we will install the packet tracer and how we will use the course lab exercises that's all for section one and section two that's more on the introduction part and then after that we will reach section three which is all about host to host communication it's more on the review for the topics that we learned during our college days it's more on osi model introduction to networking it's just more on the review of the osi model the upper and the lower layers and the tcp ip stack and on the section 4 it's more on the cisco ios operating system in this section guys um i learned a lot from the cisco ios commands because i'm not really familiar with it and it's my first time to see those so this is how it operates and what's the basic of the cisco ios commands what are the basic of the syntax on section 5 and section 6 it's all about the transport and 
network layer. It's more on uh, a review of the topics that we've learned previously during our college days. It's about subnet mask, IPv4, and conversion from decimal to binary. And section 7, it's about IP address classes. So we all know that we have class A up until class E. And section 8, it's more on the subnetting, how the VLSM works, how we do the subnetting, and what are the private IP addresses, how subnetting works. It's more on subnetting, guys. And on section 9 and section 10, it's all about the data link and physical layer. Yes, we will get familiar with the physical um, layer or the physical devices. Section 11 is the Cisco device function, um, introduction to the switch, routers, and hubs. What are the difference of those Cisco devices? And then when we reach section 11, we will get used with some lab exercises on a packet tracer. We will configure or do a commands on a router and switch. And when we reach section 12, um, I think my reaction to this is i think this is now the real review starts because when we reach the life of a pocket it's more on some unfamiliar terms for me like the arp or some protocols mentioned on this topic guys we will get familiar with cisco ios command when we reach that topic and section 13 it's more on being a logical thinker Cisco troubleshooting methodology, how we will troubleshoot some issues with our devices, how we will troubleshoot it on a packet tracer. So I can say that the lab exercise here is very useful and very helpful to exercise ourselves in troubleshooting some connectivity issues. When you reach section 12, guys, it's more on the Cisco iOS command. You will meet a lot of cisco ios commands or syntax and you will get used to it because our instructor neil anderson also provided a lab demo on every topics so you will see how it works on the real life and how it was being configured on a packet tracer on the section 14 cisco router and switch basics as you can see i also meet a lot of complicated terminologies here like CDP, LLDP, and some unfamiliar protocols. We will able to realize how the data is being transferred and how it flows from the sender to the receiver. And it's more on the configuration, guys, on the Cisco devices like routers and switch. I really, really met a lot of Cisco iOS commands when I got into this topic. As you can see on section 15, it's Cisco device management. You can see the boot up process, factory reset, and password recovery, and password recovery lab demo, and how to back up the system image and configuration. You might miss some of the commands here. You might not think it on the first watch. And as I mentioned on my previous vlogs, I need to watch a video for like three to five times before i will get it so that's my struggle when i got into this topic but you just need a little patience and trust to yourself that you will able to get and understand the topic and on the next section it's gonna be the routing fundamentals um it's gonna be another chapter another topic it's more on the routers and you will meet a lot of routing protocols here we have a static route local route and we have dynamic routing protocols and more on the protocols guys there are a lot of routing protocols as you can see on your screen all right and section 18 it's more on connectivity troubleshooting as you can see we're able to exercise ourselves on some connectivity issue when we reach section 18 it's an application of the topics that we studied from the previous section that's up until section 3 
up to section 16 or section 17 on our course we will able to recall the topics that we've learned so far when we reach the section 18 on section 17 here are the terminologies that you will hear routing protocol types equal cost multipath administrative distance loop back interface adjacencies passive interfaces dynamic routing protocols we will meet a lot of terminologies here on section 19 it's gonna be a different protocol igp interior gate gateway protocol fundamentals so you will hear terminologies like rip eigrp igp and many more to mention on section 20 we will learn about open shortest path first or ospf there's also so many terminologies here and there's so many cisco commands we'll meet a lot of it when we reach this section guys after those protocols guys we will um start a new chapter which is gonna be the vlans virtual local area networks before it's more on the configuration on the router now it's a configuration on the switch you will hear a lot of terminologies like um trunk access ports dynamic trunking protocols switch port dot one q you will hear that on this section guys and section 22 inter vlan routing so it's gonna be a configuration both on switch and router and those are the topics from section 1 to section 22 that's the 50 percent or half of our course here on flatbacks i hope this video guys will be helpful for you if you are thinking to enroll on our season a gold bootcamp feel free to check all of the details on our website on learn.flagwax.com and you can always send our instructor an email our instructor is neil anderson you can connect with us on our social media accounts so you can learn more about our updates about discounts and giveaways every month yes they have an ongoing giveaways every month where our instructor will pay for your ccna review and ccna exam so that's why guys i highly suggest to subscribe to our youtube channel and follow us on our social media platforms so you'll be updated with our giveaways so what do you think about this video did you learn something or did this video somehow encourage you let me know your thoughts on the comment section and don't forget guys to download the lab exercise guide for free i'm always saying this on my video if you haven't downloaded the lab exercises you can check the link on our description below or the cards on this video so you'll able to download the lab exercises guys